morning guys we will continue with the topic redox reactions but this time we're gonna do it in basic solution now what does it mean for this process we're gonna do the same that we have been doing for acidic solution for example but in the end we're going to add OH minus ions or hydroxide ions why is it because the ion OH makes um, a solution, makes it basic. Okay? So, you're going to see how the process is. And let's begin. Now, in the first step, what is the first step that we always do in redox equations? Well, you're right. We need to calculate the oxidation numbers. Now, you can do it apart, as I usually do, or you can do it directly, like mentally. So let's begin. For my ion, chromate, I have CrO4 2 minus. In other words, I need to isolate chromium. Chromium plus 4 oxygens gives me negative 2. Chromium plus 4 times negative 2 gives me negative 2. Chromium minus 8 equals negative 2. Chromium equals negative 2 plus 8. Chromium is using 6. Okay, so this will be my first oxidation number. I'm going to write it here in the top. 6. I know oxygen is negative 2, my rule of oxygen. Iron, because I see that I have 2 in my opposite side. I know this 2, it's coming from iron. So this is iron 2 plus. Now, what happened with OH? How can I get... Oh, okay. Just remember, the rule of oxygen is negative 2. And uh, hydrogen, it's negative 1 because I have to consider only the ion. Now, you can do it there, or you can do it apart. Like, I'm gonna do it here to show you. Okay, so you have OH minus. You have one oxygen plus one hydrogen, and this is equal to negative one. So one oxygen is negative two plus one H, Let's say that we don't know what hydrogen is, okay? Plus H equals negative 1. H is going to be negative 1 plus 2. H equals 1. Sometimes you just want to isolate for the entire compound. You can do it. I mean, it's going to give you the same answer. But if you take the ion separately, it's going to give you also the same answer. And this applies for every OH ion that you have in your, your reaction. So you will have negative 2, that is a 2, and 1, and negative 2, and 1. Because of this 3 that I have here, and the other 3 that I have in this other side, I know my oxidation number of chromium will be 3, and for iron will be 3. Now, we have every oxidation number in our reaction and now it is time for us to determine what elements have been oxidized and what elements have been reduced so it's time for redox now let's see reduction occurs from chromium 6 to chromium 3 and oxidation as you can see comes from iron 2 to iron 3. So we can start with our equations. So let's say um, chromium 6 produces chromium 3. Remember, we need to write the entire compound or ion. So this will be O4, 2 minus, and this will be OH3, 
this is a compound so we don't have to write any charge now let's see we're going to do the same process that we did for acidic solution that means that we need to balance the number of electrons but also the amount of oxygens and hydrogens so let's take a look here i have four oxygens here i have only one so for every oxygen that i'm missing i will add one molecule of water plus h2o now the difference in electrons because of the oxidation number is going to be from six to three that means that i have to add three electrons mm -hmm. now here i have chromium and oxygen but here I have hydrogen. I need to balance the amount of hydrogen. So in total, in my products, I have two hydrogens from water and three hydrogens from chromium hydroxide. In total, I have five hydrogens in my products. Okay, three plus two makes five. So I need to balance that with five H plus ions. Just like we did in acidic solutions. Now, we have oxidation that comes from iron 2. Produces um, iron 3. And we need to write the entire compound. OH2, OH3. Three. Now, the difference in electron from 2 to 3, that means that I need to add one electron in my products. Now, here I have three oxygens. Here I have only two. I need to balance with the amount of waters. So, plus one H2O, or just H2O will be okay. Now, here I have three hydrogens, and here I have two plus two, four hydrogens. That means that I need one H plus ions in my product. So this will be plus H plus, one H plus. Now, from this, we need to add everything. But we cannot add it yet because we have three electrons here and three electrons here. To balance the number of electrons, we do a cross multiplication. Now, as I have one electron here, I don't need to multiply the first one times one, but you can do it. And here, three, I'm going to multiply my second equation by that number. Don't get confused. That's not a 2. That is a perfectly well done 3. Now, let's see. Now that we have everything correctly, we're going to apply distributive property. And we're going to multiply our, our oxidation reaction. Okay. So. So we have, let's see. The first equation will remain exactly the same. Three electrons plus chromate plus five H plus ions produce chromium hydroxide plus water, just one water. Oxidation will be three iron hydroxide, iron 2 hydroxide plus 3 waters gives me 3 iron 3 hydroxide plus 3 electrons plus 3 H plus ions. Now we're going to add them all. Now take a look here, as I have 3 and 3, I will cancel the amount of electrons, you can do it directly. 
Now, the other things that we can cancel or add and subtract is water, because I have water in my reactants and in the products. But we can do it after, okay? So let's do this. CrO4 to minus plus. I'm just going to add them all. Plus water plus three irons plus three H plus. Now take a look here. Important. Very, very much important. You have H plus ions here and H plus ions in the other side. So you're going to subtract it. Five minus three. And you're going to write it in the side where you have the must. Examples when you're going to write the result here. Okay, five minus three gives you two H plus ions. Okay, and you need you don't need to write it over there. Now I have water. I have three water here and one water in the other side. So again, I will subtract, and I'm going to write the result in the side where I have more waters. So 3 minus 1 is going to give me 2 waters. And the rest of my reaction, this is cancelled already, the rest of my reaction I'm going just to rewrite it. So I have chromate plus 3 iron 2 hydroxide plus water produced Chromium hydroxide, chromium 3 hydroxide plus 3 iron 3 hydroxide. And now let's take a look because so far what we have here is what we used to do in acidic solutions. Okay, now here is where it comes about basic solution. We're going to add OH minus ions in the side that we have H plus ions. How many OH minus ions? According to the number of H plus ions that you have. As you can see, the side where I have H plus ions is this one. Okay, so I'm going to place a mark here. So that means as I have two H plus ions, I will be adding in this side two OH minus ions. And now what's going to happen? I'm going to show you here apart. If you add H plus plus OH minus this gives you a total of two hydrogens and one oxygen. And when you have two hydrogens and one oxygen, you have H2O. So when you have H plus and OH together, you can add them all as a molecule of water. So that's what we're going to do in this in this step. So. Let's see. Chromate. Plus 2H plus. Now the OH minus ions plus. As I have 2, I'm going to add also 2. 2 OH minus ions. And we'll continue with the rest of the equation. Now, as I told you before, these two right here are going to produce water, okay? So 2H plus plus 2OH is going to give you 
two water molecules. So this will be. Ah, sorry, I kind of forgot. You're going to add two OH ions, but in both sides of the equation. Okay, so here you need to add also two OH ions. It's balanced now, okay? It's balanced. Now, this will give you water. So you're going to have CrO4 minus 2 minus plus this gives you two waters. And the rest of the equation plus 3 iron 2 hydroxide. Well, you kind of know what it's going on. Okay, 2H2O. I'll take a look there. We haven't finished. Now, here, water and water, you need to add them because we're talking about the same molecule, okay? So, you're going to have CrO4, 2 minus, plus, 2 and 2 makes 4 waters, and the rest of your reaction. Produce CrOH3 plus, and I forgot the OH here. Three iron, three hydroxide plus two OH minus ions. Now this is your equation, your final equation. And in the last step, what we do is we check that it's actually balanced. Remember, metals, non-metals, hydrogen, and oxygen. Iron, chromium, hydrogen, and oxygen. Three irons here and three irons in the other side. One chromium here and one chromium in the other side. Hydrogen. Let's see. I have eight plus... 2 and 3 makes 6, so I have 14 hydrogens. And here I have 3 plus 9, it gives me 12 plus 2, 14 hydrogens. What about oxygen? I have 4 plus 4, 8, plus 6, I have 14. And here I have um, 3 plus 9, 12 plus 2, also 14. As you can see, this is totally balanced. Okay, and this is the good thing about this method. Okay, that at the end you're going to have your balance equation. It is balanced. And also, you accomplish everything here so this is your final answer this is just your check the final check and just to to make my answer look better i will put it in a box this is my answer my equation already balanced so this is it guys um thank you for watching remember that if you have still so many doubts of this, we can discuss later. Thanks.